Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be Megan and Harry. Let's talk about their success. Are they going to get the ball rolling on their new adventure, their new career, their new life? Megan and Harry, when are we going to know what's coming? So, The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook... All of this is good. The um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know the interpretation is very personal, so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system, and you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of, of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some, some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really, really nice cards. You know, I thought this could just be a fun read for those folks who are Meghan and Harry uh, fans. Um, if you're looking for them to, not to succeed, then probably you're not going to like um, this uh, reading, and you're not going to like uh, this channel when it's talking about them, because that's what I want, is I want them to su succeed. But anyway, um, so let's see. You know, they've had plenty of time to sort of, I don't know if it's plenty of time, but they've had ample time, let's say, to sort of work on their brand, uh, get their financing scheme into place. And by scheme, I don't mean anything bad. I mean, you know, whatever the, um, the patchwork of business, of advertisements, of um, whatever it is that's going to make their life um, affordable over the, from now until forever. Because let's face it, uh, he doesn't have the uh, royal... The wealth behind him anymore. He's got to do this completely, completely on his own. And um, I don't know that he's ever had to make money. We had to worry about how to uh, acquire, manage money, acquire money. And uh, that certainly is where his wife has excelled. I mean, she came from not having really anything to, she was worth about six million, they say, when they met, which um, that's not bad. I haven't uh, achieved that. So, it seems like if he was going to make a break, she was going to be the one who was going to be able to make it happen. I think that's how that looks. And uh, so what about this? Is some new venture about to come forward and will it, and will it show us some, some results in the next, I don't know, six months to a year? So let's take uh, six cards right out the top. Okay. One, two, three, four five and six for Megan and Harry's new venture Megan and Harry's new venture what is the signifier for that we'll see if the cards will reveal something to us and uh, and then we'll wait for time to see if it's uh, correct the signifier for Harry and Megan's new venture that could be the name of a, a, a series is the King of Swords there you go and the King of Swords is is the man in charge it might have been I may have rather seen the King of Coin, but the King of Swords, Swords from Me are truth and justice, first of all, and, uh, and, and the man in charge of his destiny. So the King of Swords, this fella looks experienced, he's still youngish, and uh, he's, he's got some wise advisors around him, and uh, there may be some tricks up his sleeve. So let's see, as a signifier, this is Harry. This is the King of Swords. I, I wonder if he's feeling that way, if he's feeling that confidence, if he's feeling that accomplishment. Interesting. The challenge to this King of Swords uh, is the Emperor. Of course it is. It's the uh, monarchy. No more sin. The basis of this reading is uh, the Nine of Pentacles. If this isn't Megan, I don't know what isn't. 
Uh, so this is uh, Nine of Pentacles is really being in abundance, having everything you need, and even a little bit more. So yeah, this is Megan. Wow, this has been very clear so far. And then for the past of this reading, uh, we have the Three of Cups, and we have Celebration. So we had uh, Unity, we had Celebration in the past, and um, I think maybe that's gone another way. This maybe could uh, represent um, the relationships with the royal family, perhaps. In the sky of this reading, uh, we have the hanged man. So things are still a bit suspended, is what this is telling us. The, um, things are going to be moving, but for right now, things are just a little bit suspended. And uh, getting a new uh, perspective on what's going on. There has a flash of light going on there, you know, maybe a spark of interest or knowledge. And then the um, likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic Cross for uh, Harry and Meghan's new venture is, look at that, the Hermit. So really considering your options. What else would it be? You know, a beacon in the night to try to see what is the clear path, what's the way to go. And it looks like the path in here is even lit with these little, little uh, sparkles along the way. Very interesting that that would come out like that. Now for the last part of this, let's try to get a timeline, a timeline now for when will um, the world start to see uh, examples of this new uh, venture of Megan and Harry. So the self for that question, the self for, for the uh, when will we start to see the new venture, what is the self of that? Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands uh, speaks to us of being of, of being embattled, um, of really having a lot of issues to to cross over. But this uh, little warrior here seems very confident with the plan that she's uh, holding on to and getting ready to move right over this fence. Look at she's getting ready to take a step. So the self of this, and I'd say this is a female energy. The self of this is being embattled, but ready to go on to the next step. And that's what in the environment of what? It's in the environment of Page of Swords, and I've gotten this card from Megan before, and the Page of Swords is just the lowest, the lowest of the court cards. Um, but this page comes to us with a whole book, and it's even open, and, and holding on to a lot of ideas, and has nearly made it across the precipice on this uh, Sword of Truth, this Sword of Justice. So it looks like this is uh, this uh, next step into uh, another uh, battle, another issue, is uh, in the environment of a studious page of swords. The likely outcome for all of this, not the likely outcome, but the hopes and the fears, is the eight of wands. Okay, and that's things coming on fast. So there's a spark here. There's a lot of issues. And so this tells us that to whatever it is, we're going to start to see it pretty soon. This eight of wands, this could be eight months. And then in the sky of this reading for what next for Harry and Meghan? Four of wands. And this is celebrations. These are small celebrations. I always say the four of wands is sort of like the, the celebration you have on the way to the major celebration. You know, okay, we got this done. Okay, let's really enjoy this for right now, and then we're going to get back to work and do the big stuff. So, yeah. And look, this is even a tent on a savanna. It reminds you uh, perhaps the, of something in, in Africa. Interesting. So, I think that's a fantastic reading, as a matter of fact. So, Megan and Harry, what's next? Well, I love the way that came out. It was really great. So we started off with Harry as the King of Swords, feeling very confident and uh, just waiting for the right moment to make a move. Uh, he was in the environment of what? He was in the environment of the Emperor. Of course he is. And uh, the uh, base of his reading was uh, Megan, the Nine of uh, Coin. And then the, uh, the sky of that reading was the Hangman, really just waiting for the right moment before you jump off that swing uh, for the next uh, issue. And then the likely outcome of all of that was to be wisely be the hermit, looking for exactly the right uh, time to step forward on that path that almost looks lit with little sparkles if you look at it. Then the um, self of that question of you know, when, when, when are we going to know? And we got right here the Nine of Wands, which I should have thought at the time this could be uh, nine months. And this uh, woman is getting ready to step over that nine of wands, or maybe that eight, because it's eight on the fence, and the one in her hand makes nine. So eight or nine months, and uh, show us what uh, she can do, uh, because she's been very studious, and she's got lots of ideas, and she's almost made it across the precipice. And with the eight of wands, that makes me think eight months, when these issues could come to pass, and look, there's a spark right in the middle of that, so maybe eight, nine months. And then with the final outcome of that, just what you kind of want it to be is the uh, Four of Wands, which are small celebrations. I always, always like to think of the Four of Wands as a celebration you have midway through to the big celebration. So, And it even looks like it's on an African savanna. I don't know. What do you think? I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.